notes and Outlook. Uh, you have you can file your messages into one or more folders so that you can organize your messages and you know pretty much where they are. Labels is a similar concept, but it's more about actually badging or labeling a message or a conversation for the same reason, but you can actually put a message or a conversation, uh, attach multiple labels to a particular message or conversation. So, for example, in under notes, you would have had um, your folder structure called, uh, you may have had this as an important, and then you might have had a, a folder underneath that saying, uh, called, for example, project, or projects. And then under there, you'll have lots of messages that you've assigned into those particular folders. So it's, the analogy in notes is that you've got a message and you've filed it into your, into your filing cabinet and you know pretty much exactly where to find it. And uh, Gmail, if you have a message or conversation, so remember a, a message can, uh, a, a, sorry, a conversation can exist of multiple messages, it's a conversation thread. If you have a, a, a message, we'll call it a message, and you want to assign that to a particular folder in Gmail, the concept is that you add, you create a label for it or you assign it an already created label. So if we had, previously we had important and project as our folders in notes, you would assign this message the label important. And it might also be that it existed in a subfolder called project. So you would assign another label called project. So that message or conversation has, has two labels. Whereas previously it, it just existed in a folder called project, it now has two labels. It has important and it has project. And in your Gmail, you'll find on the left hand side, your labels, important and project. And if you browse to those labels, or if you click on those labels, this conversation thread here will exist in here, and it will also exist in here. The conversation exists once, and here it is. But it has two labels attached to it. So previously, the most common way of filing messages would have been in a subfolder, perhaps of a, of a, of a parent folder, or maybe just in one folder. We now, pretty much it can have as many labels as you see fit. Here's a, another example. We have a message or conversation from, and we want to give that a label uh, pertaining to the client name. We might say this is Walker <laughs> We might also give it a label, loans 07. Now, so down here in our Gmail inbox, we'll have a label for Walker. We'll have a label loans 07. And that message or conversations or series of conversations will exist with both of those labels. <laughs> Uh, let's say we have another conversation. This 
time with a completely different client. Jane Smith. But that might also have come under this category. So we can label it items 07. So now down here we'll have our label for Smith, Jane. And Jane will appear with this label. But perhaps more importantly, she will also exist with this label. So you can see that you can use labels to, to both bring together your conversations but also separate them out. Thank you.